am back today with day 12 and today I am doing a layout of my daughter her writing a Christmas uh, letter to Santa and it just happened to be that um, yesterday when I was putting this page together I started putting it together um, I we received the letter back from Santa so his response so that was perfect timing and I thought it would be perfect to then include both the writing of the letter and then the return letter um, in this spread so, then, so here's the letter and it's really cute and then so it has some um, information in here about um, you know things about what she wants and, and just a really really cute letter and he signs it so it's perfect so um, I'm gonna end up including that in here so I'll have to fold it down just a little bit so that it fits in the page but that's ultimately gonna go in this pocket here on the right and I think this came in the Allie Edwards kit if I remember correctly um, I'm pretty sure um, that's where this is from so um, I basically took a four by six photo and just cut it down the middle and it works out well. It doesn't chop her head off or anything like that, which is nice because I don't like to do that. Um, it does trim off a little bit of her um, bangs and such, but I think it ends up looking okay when it's in the pocket. So I'm going to be using one of these badges um, like I've kind of been using throughout the, the week and um, or throughout the month. And I'm going to put that here. And I'm not going to do a whole lot of journaling. I don't have a whole lot to say. I mean, I think the letter to Santa and then his response pretty much says a lot of what I need to say. But I'll probably put something here to something short. And I'm going to try to write that, I think, maybe on my typewriter before I actually put this down. I'm not sure if I'm going to handwrite it or not. Um, I might kind of like the kind, contrast of the typewriter with the handwritten letter. Um, I also cut this piece out of the winter and cocoa paper. And this is, or snow and cocoa paper. And this is... Um, I'm just using a, one of my dies, one of my, uh, my what is it called? Um, I think it's a framelits die. So um, this is one of her advent calendars here in the background. It's a little distracting with the little Barbies or the girls looking out at it. So I decided that I like the pink color, but I don't necessarily want to see the Barbies. So I'm going to cover them up a little bit by doing that. And like I said, it just keeps it from being so distracting, but you can still see um, her writing the letter and the pencil and everything. I'm going to use one of these stars that came in the Allie Edwards 2015 kit. And I'm going to place that here. And I think what I'm going to end up doing, and I'm hoping it's going to work, is I'm going to kind of put this over to the edge a little bit to the right and trim off just a little bit. I'm a little worried about cutting the wood veneer, but I'm hoping it'll end up being okay. So I think I'm going to place that like that. And then on this side, I am going to decorate the envelope. And I wanted to pull out one of these doilies again. I really think these are really pretty. So I definitely want to pull out another one of these. And I like the white and it kind of contrasts with the other page. And then I had this um, chipboard piece from the Snow and Cocoa line. It's very cute. It looks like a little snow globe with a little reindeer and some trees. And I'm going to do some layering here. And I like this card too. I really wanted to use it. I did use this bear and I cut him out earlier on a a day or two ago um, and I'm going to use this as a layering piece as well so I'm just going to tuck that like this I'm going to put some string or twine on that I might as well do that now this is the same black and white twine I've been using throughout the album and I'm just going to do a single layer of it I think so now I'm going to take this pink I wanted to bring some of the pink from this side over so this is just a scrap of paper from the snow and cocoa um, six by six paper pad and I was just going to layer this somehow underneath this tag and then I also want to add bring a little black over I have this black now this paper is from the snow and cocoa line um, it's not exactly black if I can pick it up over here um, it's not exactly black it's kind of like a kind of a brownish grayish black but I like it and I actually just cut um, it with the same scallop except one of the framelits that are bigger and I cut it in half so I'm gonna use it in two places on this one so I'm gonna use it here just as a straight piece and again I'm just trying to bring that color Actually, I'm going to use this one. Um, bring that color over to this side and just another layering element. So I just want it peeking out. So I just want, I think like that. And then this was also from that Snow and Paper, Coco 6x6 um, six six paper pad. I just wanted to bring it out into more an L shape. So I'm just going to kind of tuck this, I think, under here. And then again, to bring more of this color in, I'm going to tuck this, I think, up under here. And I need to raise, I think, everything up just a smidge. I'll add some liquid too. And I think what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to write letter from Santa on the top just so you know what's kind of inside of it. Okay, so I was going to use those um, one pink stickers that are kind of cursive looking from the um, 
uh, Daily Flash, but I ended up deciding that the, oops, the um, words were a little bit too um, small, or the letters were a little too small, so I ended up pulling out these. These are actually from Michaels. They're from one of the dollar spots, um, and I thought I'd try that. I think that would be a good font because um, it's kind of old-fashioned looking, and it's just a little bit bigger, and it goes with the gold that's already on the layout. So I'm just going to spell out Santa. Looks like I'll have enough numbers. I haven't used these yet, so... Um, I should have enough. Hopefully they'll come off the packaging okay. You never know with these um, more inexpensive stickers how well they're going to um, actually come out. So hopefully this is going to fit. I think what I'm going to do is put them on the ruler first and then see if it's going to fit that way before I actually stick them down to the page and then um, make sure that's going to work first before. All right, so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I ended up just taking the letters and moving them from up here down to here. The Santa wasn't really going to fit, and I like how this looks. So it blends in a little bit on the bag, but because it's shiny, it does have enough separation, I think. So I'm going to keep it like that. Um, so this side is basically done. Um, I am going to add some splatters, like I was mentioning earlier. Of course, it's going to go exactly where I don't want it to be. <laughs> right on the chipboard. So I like how that looks. So I'm going to leave it like that, Got a little bit over here. So it will dry really nice and shiny. So we'll be able to see that in a little bit. So I'm going to move this off to the side while this dries so I don't bump my arm into it. And I'm going to continue working on this side of the layout. And I've already put the foam on the back of this um, little badge. So that's going to go there. I am going to add a little bit of journaling, I think. I was thinking about possibly typing on the typewriter for here, but I think I'm just going to hand write it, I believe. Um, and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take this Heidi Swap um, texture paste, and it's in hot pink. And I'm going to just dab that on this um, star, and I think that's going to tie in the pink from the other side of the layout over to this page, plus there's a little bit of pink in this background. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add this on here. And then it's going to have to take some time to dry before I can move on with the page. So I'll set it to the side probably while I am working on the card here. So like I said, I'm just going to kind of dab and wipe it on. I'm not trying to be extremely precise. I just want to get the color on, on the little piece. All right, so I am back and I'm leaving the little star over here to dry. Um, and while I'm letting that dry, I am going to start working on this side of the page. And I'm just going to just simply glue this down. Um, I'll end up putting some liquid glue on the back of that star and then adding it to the side here. But for now, I'm just going to get this down so it's ready to go. And again, just trying to cover up the um, pictures of the Barbies on the background here. So, all right, so I'm going to move over to this card here. And I think I'm just going to do my journaling in the black pen. Nothing too fancy. Um, I will probably pause the video here for a second because I sometimes have trouble thinking of what to journal. And then I'll be back with what I'm going to end up doing. All right, I am back and I ended up deciding just to do the typing on it. Um, I was trying to do some handwriting and I just didn't like how it was looking. So I decided just to go for the typewriting. Um, and I think that ends up turning out a little bit better. So I'm just going to trim this excess off. And I think my star should be dry by now so i'll bring that over here um this 12 is going to end up going on the outside of the page protector um, so i'm going to check this yep it feels dry so i'm going to glue this down and like i said i'm just going to use some liquid adhesive for this one just my sketch 3m quick dry all right so that ended up turning out pretty nice it didn't i thought it might chip it did chip just ever so slightly but you really can't tell so that actually worked out pretty well so i like that so I think I'm going to leave it like this. Um, you know what, though? I would like to have um, some, maybe a word phrase. I think there was something about writing a letter or something about, hmm, let's see, wish list. That might be a good one. Like that. I think that adds a nice little added touch. So I think that is good. My bag is also dry. I want to see how those splatters end up looking if they ended up turning out okay or not so bring that over yeah and I really like how that looked I mean it kind of see if you can see it a little better so it left a really nice shine it does match those letters very nicely so yeah I think that is good to go so I'm gonna bring this over here so you guys can see the whole thing all together and then I think I'm gonna call this day 12 done hopefully you guys can see sorry about that all right. Yeah, 
I like how that turned out. I think that's what we're going to go with. So I want to talk to you guys. I will talk to you guys pretty soon. Um, I will be back with day 13 sometime shortly. And if you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you can get the latest of the December daily layouts and any other pocket pages and 12 by 12 layouts that I do. So thank you guys so much again for joining me. I'll talk to you again later. Bye.